Welcome back. Let's take a little look around, make sure there isn't anything for me to uh, pick up. Like some heavy weapon ammo, which I'm already full up on for now. And some med kits. And some Ezo. Uh, if I remember right, there's something nasty down here that I want to go on and make a save. I'm opening a door on the far yes, side. Yes, 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 yes. So that fuck right there is why I wanted Kane when I did. I just took off a ass ton of his health with a single shot. Kane is a truly beautiful weapon. Dead. Unfortunately, Kane takes up a lot of heavy ammo to take one shot. Note I had 145 and went down to 45 with a single shot. That being said, at max ammo capacity, you can get two shots with this thing, which is enough to pretty well much one shot everything. Except the final boss. I have successfully opened a door on the opposite wall. I will keep it open as long as I can. But Down there. it'll even do That's some pretty board. hefty damage to the final boss. The they should come in handy. Careful about abominations, they explode. My attacks will tear you apart. I'll get them off their feet. I know you feel this. Spread your matter to the sea. Stop, Shepard. If I must tear you apart, Shepard, I will. I can and I will.
on, get back under cover. Thank you. Okay, I need you dead now. Damn it. I was hoping to get him before that happens, but. Oh well. Now, even though Pull. We are your genetic destiny. Come on. Let's get back under cover. Thank you. Oh, fuck you. Of course. Uh, even though Pull doesn't really do any damage to armor, it still staggers them for a second. And I'm all the way back here. Of course I am. Sleeping well, Sal Samara? Scion. Spawn and spawn these fuckers. Just sit back here and take pot shots. Your body is dust. Because hey, if the game's gonna be cheap because I'm playing on the hardest difficulty, I might as well utilize the same. There we go. Screw you guys, I'm going home.
Here's some abominations and some husks. Not want to use that. Get a leg up on your competition, I see. Really on that. Well, we've made it back to our shits. We're out of time, Commander. We have to go. You heard the man. Everybody onto the Normandy. Move. Strap in, people. I'm gonna make him work for it this time. I can't dodge this guy forever, Edie. Get us the hell out of here. Specify a destination, Mr. Morrow. Anywhere that's not here. Well, that's a uh, end of mission. Got some decent stuff out of that. And the elusive man has some explaining to do. Hey, motherfucker. Shepard. Looks like Edie extracted some interesting data before the collector ship came back online. Edie told us the distress call originated from the collectors. You betrayed us, just like I knew you would. We're at war. The collectors are taking humans, and every minute we waste is one more we give the enemy to prepare. I know the stakes, but we're supposed to be on the same side, and I can't trust you. Without that information, we don't reach the collector homeworld. And you and every other human may as well be dead. It was a trap, but I was confident in your abilities. And don't forget Edie. The collectors couldn't have anticipated her. Mm-hmm. You could have told me the plan. You say I'm important, but you sure try hard to get me killed. I needed the collectors to believe they had the upper hand. Telling you could have tipped them off in any number of ways. How so? Besides, I wouldn't have sent you in if I didn't think you could succeed. No, seriously. How so? This subspace bandwave thing that you're doing with isolated particles is supposed to be the pinnacle of secret talks between each other, completely impervious to being listened in on. So how would they have known that I was alerted to the trap? I don't buy it. 
I don't risk people. There are always alternatives. You may not like being on the receiving end, neither would I. But the facts are with me. As much as we try to avoid them, these decisions need to be made. But more importantly, it paid off. Edie confirmed our suspicions. The Reapers and Collector ships use an advanced Identify Friend Foe system that the Relays recognize. All we need to do is get our hands on one of those IFFs. I was just on the Collector ship. Why didn't you say anything about finding their IFF? As I said, Edie just confirmed it. Besides, you wouldn't have had time to find and extract it, but we have options. An Alliance science team recently determined that the Great Rift on the planet Clendigan is actually an impact crater from a mass accelerator weapon. A very old mass accelerator. I sent a team to find either the weapon or its target. They found both. The weapon was defunct, but it helped us plot the flight path of the intended target. A 37 million year old derelict reaper. We found it damaged and trapped in the gravity of a brown dwarf. I saw what Sovereign did to the Citadel fleet. Hard to imagine anything could stop something that powerful. This vessel is a relic from a battle waged while mammals took their first steps on Earth. There's no trace of the species that took the shot. Perhaps it was their one moment of defiance before being wiped out. Aren't brown dwarves basically stars that didn't quite make it? Simply put, but accurate. They're gas giants that don't quite have the masses of stars. Expect gale force winds and extremely high temperatures. The Reaper has a mass effect field that keeps it in orbit, likely an automated response to the external threats. It's stable, but I won't call it safe. I get the feeling this isn't going to be a simple swing by and pick up our package. We lost contact with Dr. Chandana's team shortly after they boarded. Initial reconnaissance revealed no clues, and it was too risky to commit more resources. But now we need that IFF. I'll forward the coordinates to Joker. In the meantime, I suggest you tell your crew I didn't risk their lives unnecessarily. It will make things easier going forward. Edie, tell the crew to assemble. We've got a lot to talk about. Of course, Shepard. I ain't telling them that at all. I'm on to you, dude. So the elusive man didn't sell us out. Could have fooled me. Lied to us. Used us. Needed access to the Collector databanks. Necessary risk. He tries something like that again, and the Collectors will be the least of his problems. Edie, are you sure this IFF is going to work? My analysis is accurate, Shepard. I have also determined the approximate location of the Collector homeworld, based on navigational data from their vessel. Can't be right. Better run the diagnostics, Joker. Looks like our AI's got a bug in the software. My calculations are correct. The Collector homeworld is located within the galactic core. Can't be. The core is just black holes and exploding suns. There are no habitable planets there. Could be an artificial construction. Space station protected by powerful mass effect fields and radiation shields. Even the Collectors don't have that kind of technology. The Collectors are just servants of our real enemy, and we've all seen what their masters are capable of. They built the mass relays in the Citadel. Who's to say they can't build a space station surrounded by black holes? No wonder nobody's ever returned from a trip through the Omega-4 mass relay. The logical conclusion is that a small safe zone exists on the far side of the relay, a region where ships can survive. Standard relay transit protocols would not allow safe transport. Drift of several thousand kilometers is common, and would be fatal in the galactic core. The Reaper IFF must trigger the relay to use more advanced encrypted protocols. Just because we can follow the collectors through the relay doesn't mean we can take them out. I don't want to go after them until I know we're ready. Sooner or later we need that IFF. I say, why wait? It's a derelict Reaper. What if the collectors are waiting for us? We may want to build up our team before we take that kind of risk. The more people we have on our side, the better our chances of success. We need to keep building up the team. It's your call, Commander. Whatever you decide, we're with you. All right.
right. So. How's my Paragon looking? Getting so close. That being said, we did level, and now I've got max pull. And instead of heavy pull, which is what uh, you would think that I'd do, I like the pull field. Because enemies do like to group up on each other. Alright. Singularity I'm not going to really level, so I'll put start leveling up into throw from here. And with that, y'all, we'll see y'all next time when we get back to our loyalty reward programs. See you then.